Hello and welcome to One Bag Travels. I have a couple of really similar one bags that I wanted to compare. On this side I have the Manal 2.0 carry-on backpack and over here I have the Air Travel Pack 2. So what I'll do is I'll go through side by side and I'll go through all the features of the bag, backpack straps, buckles, uh, interior and exterior organization. And probably what I'll do is in the description I'm going to have all the sections Kind of broken up so you can click on them if you want to skip ahead to compare the backpack straps or see how the bags are packed then just go down to the description and you can click on that section after i finish comparing the bags i have a pile of about a week's worth of gear so i'll pack up both bags with the same amount of stuff and show you how the bags pack and and kind of what they look like with the, with the same amount of stuff in them again if you like the reviews that i do then please think about subscribing to the one bag travels channel both of these bags i decided to compare them because when I was shopping around for, for carry-on bags, these two kind of come up over and over again as being really similar. They both have a really similar aesthetic. Uh, they're both, they're both uh, kind of really minimalistic, simple bags. Um, they both have pretty similar top side carry handles. They both have backpack straps, and they both have an external laptop compartment. Both of these bags have pretty similar dimensions. They're about 8.5 by 13.5 by 21.5 which is pretty close to the maximum size carry, but a little bit smaller. The Manal bag over here holds about 35 liters, and the air travel pack on this side holds about 33 liters. So pretty much exactly the same size bag and the same dimensions. So starting out looking at some of the exterior features of the, of the bag, on this side, I have the air travel pack, and this is made out of a 1680 denier ballistic nylon cordura. So this is pretty thick material. It's got a, a pretty thick basket weave and it's, it's pretty soft to the touch. On this side, the Manal, um, they have a custom made nylon material. It's about 600 denier and they have a little bit thicker material on the bottom. It's a little bit thinner of a weave and the difference is a little bit rougher to the touch. They're both really durable materials, but in the Manal bag, um, because it kind of has this rough exterior, it tends to attract lint a little bit more. Looking at the zippers on these two bags, they both have pretty similar zippers. They both have these metal YKK zippers with zipper pulls. Uh, there's a slight difference. The Air Travel Pack, the zippers are quite a bit bigger and they actually have the metal zipper pull on there. On the Manal bag, the zippers are a little bit smaller and they got rid of the metal zipper pull and they just have this cord with this little plastic end on here. And both have locking zippers on the main compartments and on the laptop compartments. One nice feature of the zippers on these bags I really like is because they're so close together on both of these packs and they have locking zippers, if you have a lock that's a little bit longer, you can actually zip both of these two compartments together at the same time, which is really nice, saves on weight. So the waterproofness of both these bags, they kind of have a different strategy. On the Air Travel Pack, they use a much thicker, tighter weave for their material, and then they rely on these waterproof zippers on the outside compartment and on the laptop compartment for waterproofness. And it's not waterproof per se, but it's pretty water resistant as long as you don't get caught in a downpour. As far as the Manal bag, it's a lot, it's a lot rougher material. It's, it's not as quite thick of a basket weave, but they have a built-in rain fly that's stored in the bottom compartment of the pouch that you can take out and cover the pack. And that pretty much makes it 100% waterproof. Both of these bags utilize external compression straps, which are nice because they really squish your bag down, help balance the load on your back, and also keep your bag smaller so you can fit it in the overhead if, if it's a little bit overstuffed. So the Air Travel Bag has these kind of big, bulky plastic buckle compression straps. Uh, there's two on each side, and they do a really good job to keep the bag compressed. One of the only downfalls is because the buckle hangs in front of the zipper right here, when you go to open the bag, the zipper tends to get caught in the buckle. The Manal bag has this compression strap with a metal hook that you can use it to slip into these two different straps. And it's really nice because if you don't want the buckle to be in the way of the zipper, then you can attach it to the upper strap. But to make a little bit better compression, then you attach it to the lower strap. So it's really nice. It's really easy to take on and off and you can access the main compartment, open the zipper, without this thing getting in the way at all. It's a really good system. Both of these bags have almost identical side and top carry handles. 
So they have this kind of small handle on the side as well as a little handle on the top. And the big difference is on the Manal bag, the handle is a little bit off center, but it's, it's pretty close to being in the center. And because the backpack straps can hide away, uh, you can just carry this bag on the side over here. It also comes with an optional shoulder strap. The side handle carry on the air travel pack is located on the back edge of the bag, which kind of makes it so that when you're carrying this bag on the side handle, you have to carry it at kind of a weird angle. And because the backpack straps don't hide away, they're going to be kind of jangling and, and, and hitting your leg as you walk. The backpack straps on these two bags is one thing that is pretty different. On the air travel bag, the backpack straps, they, they don't hide away. And on the Manal 2.0, they have this flap here that kind of zips up and, and hides the backpack straps away. On the air travel bag, the backpack straps are a little bit beefier. They're a little bit thicker. They have kind of this soft foam padding. And on the Manal bag, they're about the same width, but the foam padding is a little bit, little bit harder, a little bit firmer. Same goes with the back padding. The Manal bag has these pretty good air vents, but the, the foam padding is a little bit firmer. Another big difference on the backpack straps is these, it's called load balancing straps. So there's this strap that connects the top of the backpack strap to the backpack and the air travel back doesn't have them. And the Manal bag does. It has these magnetic clips up here that allow you to disconnect the shoulder strap from the bag. And these things really help, really help take the bag and kind of angle it up and, and bring it closer to your body make it more comfortable to carry. As far as the sternum straps on these bags, they're pretty much identical. They both have these adjustable sternum straps with a plastic clip. The Manal bag is a little bit different. They include a whistle on their, on their, uh, on their clip. And then they also have this thing that allows you to clip the sternum strap out of the way onto the main bag so that when you're not using it, it's not, it's not dangling in front of your chest, which is really nice. Both of these bags have the ability to hold about a 15 and a half inch laptop. On the Air Travel Pack 2, they have this long zipper that goes about three quarters away around the bag and accesses it from the side or the top. And it's just kind of one big padded compartment uh, with a waterproof zipper on there. And your laptop just slides right in there. So I have a, about a 15 and a half inch Toshiba laptop and that thing fits in there really nicely. Uh, it's got a couple inches of wiggle room. so. I don't know if you could fit a 17 inch laptop in there, but uh, definitely a little bit bigger than a, than a 15 and a half. The Manal travel pack has this kind of weird, they call it a device nest. So it's kind of this uh, bungee mesh contraption that, that fits on the inside of the bag. And they, they have a small thing of padding on the back, but the device nests, what it does is it holds your laptop kind of away from the edges and the bottom of the bag. So if you were to drop your bag or, or set the backpack down kind of heavy, the laptop isn't touching anywhere near the bottom or the sides of the bag, so it's protected. They also have the ability to hold up to a 15 and a half inch laptop, and there's also a separate tablet sleeve in there, so you can put a laptop and a tablet both in the same compartment. The access to the laptop on the Manal bag is a little bit trickier than it is on the Air Travel Pack. Because it's kind of in this bungee nested sleeve, it has these Velcro straps, that hold it in there. So you can access it from, from kind of from the side, but you have to take the Velcro off and slip it out. So it's a little bit harder to get to, but it's a little bit better protected. They also have this kind of false bottom on the bottom end of the bag that keeps the laptop about three or four inches from the, from the bottom of the bag. These bags both have external water bottle pockets and the, the design is pretty similar, but there's some subtle differences that I think make the air travel pack quite a bit better. The water bottle pocket on the air travel pack has a zipper with an expandable mesh in there. Uh, it's also pretty tall and allows you to, to hold a pretty good sized water bottle. The compression strap on the bag is also located right in the top so you can cinch that around the top of the water bottle for some extra support. On the Manal bag, it kind of has the same idea with this expandable water bottle pocket but there's no zipper and there's no mesh interior. It's, a, it's kind of a fabric expando pocket. And it's, it's pretty short. Uh, it's quite a bit shorter than the air travel bag. And they're relying on this bungee cord up here to keep your water bottle in the place. So this thing's pretty flimsy. And if this thing were to break, then there's pretty much no way to keep your water bottle in here. As far as the exterior organization on these two bags, 
the air travel pack has this long zipper on the front with this kind of half half pocket here it doesn't have any extra pockets inside and then it has this kind of smaller pocket on the top that's big enough for a medium large size cell phone um, or, or sunglasses case and then they have this top open zipper which goes about half the way down the bag that has a ton of organizational interior compartments zippers pockets there's all kinds of stuff in there it, it's pretty nice the exterior organization on the Manal 2.0 is pretty limited to these two top zippers. So there's this zipper right here and then a, a zipper right on top. And they're kind of medium sized pockets. They're not, they're not anywhere near as big as the Air Travel Pack and they don't have any interior pockets or zippers or, or any further organization. On the back of the laptop sleeve, there is a couple extra pockets in there uh, if you wanna put some, some items, but the air travel back definitely does a better job with the uh, organization of kind of the smaller items. The interior compartments on these bags is pretty similar with some small differences in kind of inter internal organization. So they both, they both have these clamshell style openings, which is a big zipper that runs along the length of the bag and they open up lengthways into this big kind of clamshell briefcase style bag. The air travel pack relies on this kind of one side of the bag has this large briefcase size opening and there's no internal compression straps so you probably want to use packing cubes with this bag. Uh, the top flap of the clamshell opening has two internal zipper compartments. Uh, they, they don't expand and they're pretty thin so you're, you, you have, kind of have to use them for small items. You can't put any, any bulky clothing in there. Another kind of weird feature about the Air Travel Pack is they have this external shoe compartment that's accessible on the bottom side of the bag. So I tried packing this thing up and when you fill the shoe compartment, you can put dirty clothes in there or, or a pretty large pair of shoes. Uh, it kind of takes up this weird amount of space on the inside of the bag and basically makes the inside of the bag almost unusable. The Manal bag has a pretty similar internal organization, except that you're gonna store about the same amount of gear in, the, in both sides of the clamshell. So the top opening is open and there's no compression straps in there. So you're probably gonna to wanna to use packing cubes. The other side of the bag has these two, what they call 3D compartments, which are basically built-in packing cubes. Uh, they're expendable, expandable, and you can, you can store a pretty good amount of stuff in there. So all that gear I had there on the table is now packed up. This is the Manal 2.0. Most of the small items electronics are in these kind of top access pouches, kind of a flimsy water bottle pocket, uh, laptop and tablet are in here, and then all the clothes and my toiletries are in kind of the main clamshell compartment. So everything fit in here pretty good. Um, again, about seven days worth of, worth of clothes and gear. I brought a laptop, which you could definitely fit a lot more in here if you didn't have all those electronics, extra stuff kind of taking up room. and. I got a little bit of wiggle room. I don't have the compression straps hooked in, and I, I definitely I definitely could have fit a little bit more in here if I wanted to. Pretty nice size bag, and it, and it looks pretty good packed. So here's the Air Travel Pack 2. All packed up with the exact same gear I just had at the Manal. Because they're a pretty similar size bag, they, they pack pretty much the same with some slight differences in organization. I don't really have anything in this in this front pouch. I don't have a ton of small items. Uh, most of my electronics and, and small cords and gears kind of fit pretty good in this front organizational pouch. I have the laptop in the back and then water bottle over here in the side and then all my clothes uh, pretty much fit in the kind of the clamshell area and I have the toiletry bag I put in this you know, kind of top front area right here. So again, we've been comparing the Air Travel Pack 2 with the Manal 2.0, uh, pretty similar bags. I really think if they combine forces, uh, you could have a really nice bag, kind of take some of, the, some of the good areas from one bag and combine them with the good areas from another bag, take the Manal backpack straps and then combine them with the exterior organization and kind of this really nice material of the Air Travel Pack. Uh, I think it'd have a really nice bag, but yeah, definitely, definitely both really good bags with kind of some weird quirks about each one. So thanks for watching. If there's more bag reviews that you want to see or if you want to see uh, comparisons between different bags, then definitely let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.